second set, the blocking of the Philippines. Definitely clear as daylight. Look, eight to none on that second set alone. So even uh, Cambodia even having more spikes in that set did not matter at all. And the uh, decks were also, uh, well, good for both teams. Cambodia even having one more. But the service errors of Cambodia doubling the uh, errors of the Philippines at four. So, you, you know, everything was really centered on that, uh, again, that net system that Coach Dan has been talking about. And uh, they got that win from that, from there. So, more effective. Diba, mukha talaga effective, lalo na in this uh, match against Cambodia. It's the same thing that happened in the first set. Set number three officially underway. And Cambodia, courtesy of that hit by Pin Sarun, gets on the board first. It was a sloppy second set for them. After committing just one service error, they committed four in that second set. And zero blocks. Yun zero yun blocks. Oh, yun yung talagang uh, factor in that second set. Yep, no block. But the Philippines having uh, got eight on that set, so that tells a lot. Espejo. Another ace for Mark Espejo. 15 points matching his jersey number. Just so heavy to receive, you know. It's too powerful. This is also one thing that Mark improved on his service because you'd see, like, like, like now, on that uh, last serve, he just reads the defense of the, the opponent, the floor positions, and uh, goes for whatever uh, attack, chop serve, and the uh, bar gets whatever chop serve he can. In the 2017 SEA Games, Mark Espejo did not play. The Philippines finished fifth. Cambodia finished seventh in the SEA Games two years ago in Kuala Lumpur. So, like you were discussing on the score, you know, it would be nice to get some merchandise by the end of this tournament. <laughs> so, right. With this type of lineup, Bakunas. And again, Mosi, the blocking continues. There is just that great wall on the Philippine side. And the, the way they read the attackers of Cambodia. It's just uh, amazing. And Bagunas just got into double digits after that block. Vesna continues to be the main man for Cambodia. And Vesna is so uh, relentless. That's why uh, they were able to score more attacks, actually, in that second set in spite of the Philippines uh, winning that one. Espejo. Quick five attack once again from Mark Espejo. That's the second set, but here it is once again. Look at him go. One blocker, not enough, definitely. Take a Again. Not enough uh, wrist action on that one, but that. You know, you, you, again, the direction that you are talking about, uh, Mark Espejo serve, the way he directs and the, the sides on what to, uh, how to serve the ball. Okay, you think about your serve. The 19-year-old Ratamar has also been one of the storylines here in this game and his blocking. Got his hands on that volleyball once again, but Vesna. He's the star that the Philippines has to stop, the star from Cambodia. And uh, he's been going, he's been getting the points, you know, off the block points. He's trying for those, uh, for those bounds. Oh, much respect to, covers. much respect mostly to this kid though. Born Vesna, 
who was born in 2001, the youngest player on the floor, just 18, 18 years, years old. old. Yeah. <laughs> Much respect to the kid. He's like Retamore on the other side, except different positions. And, uh... and, and to be, well, open spiker, a spiker, and setter, those are very difficult positions to try to fulfill for your ball club. Oh! oh again, the timing of Malabunga. Getting another point on this quick hit. And you go back center to Retamar. They play it so well. I don't think he's been stopped today on the right attack. No? Wala pa, hindi pa, hindi pa nakakamali si Kim Manabunga on the running attack. And it all started with Jesse Lopez's set to him. And uh, yung, 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 yung palita ni Coach Dan, yeah. especially towards the end of that first set. Galing din. Played it so well. Bagunas. Bagunas. Uh, unstoppable when he gets At the set's first technical timeout, this score is 8-7 in favor of the Philippines. 8-7 lead here in set number 3. Eight to seven here in set number three. Timeout. Our squad is on top. Two sets to none in their very first match here in the 30th SEA Games. And Kim Malabunga, what a match he has played. See how Cambodia will try to respond. Ratsme gets the check ball. Right, gets the touch. You see them now going for those off the block hits of uh, by Cambodia. Son Chanaro, the captain and setter for Cambodia. Retamar Espejo was able to sneak that one in. Again, the decision making of Espejo, not only uh, on his serve, but also his attacks. Yeah. Retamar. Three blockers trying to deny Sarun. Once again, Cambodia opting to go off the block, but uh, on that uh, last play, obviously, napakahirap na because again, three blockers on him. Just able to turn that into a point. That's me making sure that one went in. Retamar faking, but Cambodia able to recover. Saura on the way down, improvising. Three ball now given to the Philippines. Retamar and John Victor Guzman from out of nowhere the score for the Philippines on a combination play team, team captain John Vick getting this one to go ginabol pa nung bloggers ng Cambodia but to no avail and an ace from Espejo there you go ganda na nung target niya and look at the the yung team ng Cambodia adjust to his serve. Look at their defense. Atras sila lahat eh. Tapos biglang isusort ka ni Mark eh. Free ball. Mapupunta sa Cambodia. And best oh. na again. Great. Almost. But uh, Almost. good read. Absorption was there. 11 to 10, Cambodia trying to hold on here. Ratanak on the line. He committed that crucial service error earlier in that first set. When they had the Philippines on the ropes. Bakunas overshoots that one. Why did that uh, try? You can see the composure of the Philippine uh, team. You can see the relax, they're not in a hurry. Bagunas. Oh, and Bagunas, well placed hit. Just the right amount of power. Correct. 
on that drop ball by Brian Bagunas. And look at the angle of that one. Saura. Back set. And that one touched the hands of Brian, so point will go to Cambodia. Sarun again. So finally, he Sarun also helping out the best na. Si Raxmi naman yung ano. Uh, Nawala. Si Ra oh. After coming in and doing some damage in the first set, Raxmi's been quiet. Bagunas has been making noise from the get-go. And has been going uh, cross-court on his attacks. And that's the leadership of John Vic de Guzman. The lone representative from the College of St. Benil. Meanwhile, a quick attack from the middle by Anne Sokheng. Something on the tail end of that uh, combination play. This is what Cambodia needs. Other players stepping up. Especially this is a close one so far. And you can see that Vesna's a little bit tired already. And that service error right there shows you just that. He's been trying to provide the scoring for Cambodia all throughout this match. And that will not work for their captain, Chanaro. Totally missing the court there. The dump. Magunas. Back row attack. goes long for her best now is at the six second technical timeout this for 16 to 13 the Philippines, the Philippines with the lead with a 16 to 13 lead here in the third set you knew it wouldn't be easy they didn't give you a chance the situation inside the Phil Sports Arena in Pasig the Philippines looking to cruise to a straight sets win against Cambodia in their very first match here in 30th Southeast Asian Games. Pagunas, too, too much spice on that spike for him. Now, if you're the Philippines, Mosey, you want to win convincingly in your first match of the tournament. Oh, well, yes, of course. You just want to set the tone uh, going to, to succeeding games, especially knowing uh, you're going to be up against really strong ones in, uh, in Indonesia and uh, Vietnam. Yep, I just looked at the schedule and Vietnam is up next on Wednesday. And then we've got Indonesia on Friday. Just want that system going. And we're not out of the woods yet. That's right. Cambodia trying to make a comeback here. The captain, Son Chanaro, trying to make some noise late and lead his team back into it. The first set was very close. Cambodia had two opportunities to take set number one. And Saura making up for that last uh, error, that last mistake. Goes up for this quick hit. And again, Saura is steady for the Philippines. Actually, the middles, everyone really, you know, doing their part. But for Saura, it's the timing. Espejo. Oh, and a violation call against Cambodia, so uh, point goes to the Philippines. That is going to hurt for Cambodia. Timeout, Cambodia. Lee Chun calling a timeout because he knows that this one is slowly slipping away. The story of the match, the blocking of the Philippines. Six blocks in the first set, eight in the second, putting up a wall that Cambodia just could not break through.
but it's not over yet. Philippines still need six points to take the third set, take their first W here in the men's volleyball tournament for the Southeast Asian Games. Joshua Retamar, the 19-year-old youngest player on the team, big time performance for him. That's right. And he gets an ace. How about that? <laughs> what a welcome for this young man. Here the Sea Games right in front of his Kababayan. Kababayats. One of five representatives from National University. Six if you include the coach. Coach <laughs> Dante Elensonore. Coach Dong also. Oh yeah. And again. More kill blocks from the Philippines this time from the captain. Saturn was actually away from the net, you know, and then, but still, John Bay was able to read that well. 21 to 16. Alam mo, most marami pa tayong hindi nagkita dito. We have not seen Ishpol Borosa. We have not seen Rex Intal. We want to see more of Mark Alfafara. Oh, yeah. Joshua Mandal. And dami pa, ran ran up Dilia. Oh yeah. There is a challenge on the call by the Philippines. Ball in, ball out. This lineup is just so full. Like you can just put in anyone. Well, the good news, Moses, is just the start. Oh yeah. So there's still a lot of matches here. It's sabi kasi yun, diba? For to. sure, nagtatatchan pa all the teams. And that's exactly oh, what pro is probably yung... what Coach Dan is also doing. Ayaw pa ilabas yung mga baraha. May mga tinatago pa mga coaches natin dito. Another Ladies challenge and gentlemen, here. the challenge was successful. There you go. So, uh, point noise in the Philippines. Good challenge there. 22 to 16, the Philippines looking for a straight sets win to open up their campaign in men's volleyball here in the Sea Games. Oh, this is like. Uh, the story of Cambodia. You know, Time in the portion of this uh, third set, I think the, I think you, the, the energy was uh, really dipped in the, a lot of errors coming from them. It seems like they loaded up too much in that first set, had an opportunity to take it, but the Philippines just remained steady under the pressure, took set number one, 29 to 27, and never looked back. Exactly, the Philippines just, uh, again, follow their system, still uh, committed to the blocks. It, uh, it, will, it actually worked better and better in the, the second set and even here in the third set. And that's why it, it was so frustrating for the attackers of Cambodia to uh, go for uh, their offense. Because even if they do the blockers are so steady and committed on the other side. And I also like what you said earlier about the familiarity of the players and knowing who to put in. Kanina nakita natin, Jesse Lopez. I think that really turned the tide when the veteran Jesse Lopez came in and tossed that ball up to Malabunga for that running attack. And then Francis Saura, that crucial block. Long, yeah. And Alfafara, it was a gamble that didn't pay off. But, but we know Mark Alfafara can deliver. That's me. Getting a point. Espejo. Automatic. Mark Espejo just nailing that one in. He was just too high up in the air and the blockers were separated. There was a sp the, uh, space between the two blockers of Cambodia. Mark just took advantage. The Philippines is at match point. And that goes long. The first win at the end of this match, the Philippines, the Philippines wins in three sets. And what a match for the to 27, 25 to 17. They did so well. And that was the Tamaka. It was a character first set for them. When they won that one, I think they uh, just got their groove and uh, played better in the second, and especially here in the third. That first set, 29 to 27. They dealt with adversity and never look back. Experience points gained, especially by the 19-year-old Joshua Retamar here in his first SEA Games experience. John Victor Guzman and the men's volleyball team take their first W in the 30th Southeast Asian Games. We'll be back 
to put the finishing touches on this win.